Hi there, welcome to Big V TV. Great to have you with us. Division two men, fair bit to talk about, and we are officially at two dinners to none. And counting. And because counting. We are coming back. And I reckon we might load up this week. We'll talk about that in a moment. Northeast 61 went down to Craigie Burns 78. Dylan Webb 15 points, 17 rebounds, four blocks. Nobody's denying that Webby yep, he's, isn't living up to his end of the he's bargain doing in North his East. Job. There's no doubt about that. He's <laughs> he having a cracking uh, season. No, he didn't. No, he called me up, up on, Saturday, on Sunday and said what? And, and apologised for his team's performance. Besides him, Man, I Webby's said, doing a great job. He apologised for his team's performance. It's not his. He was doing fine. Webby would be close to All Star Five at the moment. He would be. In all seriousness, uh, Craigie Burn Liam Watt had sixteen. Uh, Jack Ponsford had sixteen and ten. Nice little win, the Eagles. Jeffo. Yeah, uh, Craigie Burn are just chipping away. I think they're sitting yeah. um, about in second position mm. on the ladder. So um, they're better than I thought they would be. Collingwood at 60, went down to Western Port 74. We said this was the big chance for the All-Stars. It was. Up against the unbeaten Steelers, but they didn't factor in Ricky Dehan, the shock jock. He came out and had 34 points in this game, absolutely dominated. Peter Whelan had 12 and 18. Uh, Manny Hendricks, 23 for Collingwood. Well done, Steelers. Yeah, well, Western Port dominated the rebound count 43 to um, 29. Um, but it would have been a good game to watch. If they got the ball to Manny Hendricks and Ricky Dehan the whole time, they were both shooting about 65%. Um, just give it to them, let him yeah, shoot. Plug. Would have been nice. One on one, have a break. Uh, Coburg 63, went down to Oakley 66. Well, we said it was only a matter of time for Oakley, now that the king has arrived. Mm. Um, he obviously got the uh, got the court jesters around him, got him going. The uh, knights of the round table and uh, the king's men got up and had a great win. He had 33 points and 15 rebounds. Justin King, Jordan Harding, who's also having a good season, 14 points, 13 rebounds. You rarely see Coburg in a game. I'm thinking back over the last two years where it's not single digits either way. It's just always a tight tussle a fair statement. with the Giants. Mm -hmm. uh, but Oakley were good enough, and I think they've picked up a bit of a ripper here in Justin King. Well, they've got uh, a bit of a record for it, don't they? Oakley picking up some good imports. and Andrew Caban. If King can score half your team's points each and every week... They're a chance. You have a big chance. <laughs> Packenham 102 defeated Altona 79. Uh, we went for Packenham. You yeah. decided foolishly to jump on Altona because we'd been talking them up. Uh, Benny Gaze. Well, that was your fault then. Very good player. 28 points, 9 rebounds. Hayden Davey having a good season, 22 and 8. Radoslavic had 14 for Altona. Nice work, Packy at home. Yeah, um, Gaze just um, destroyed it, obviously. But um, Altona, I just would like them to get Joey more shots. He was 5 of 8 for 14 points. He's a start, um, Joey. He's the captain, isn't he? Uh, I'd say so. I'd I'm, imagine pretty, I'm sure Joey's the captain down in Altona. And he's only got eight shots him. up. He's only got eight shots and shot, got five of them in. Joey. Get I'd just be getting in the rock. Joey. I'd say, just shoot it. Get on the track this week. It was skipper down there, mate. Get on the track this week and go, Oi, you bloody give me the ball and get out of my way. Hmm. He's a skipper, isn't he? He was He last calls the year, shots. Well, you're the skipper so. at Camberwell. Yeah. I don't, you want the I ball? don't want to shoot. No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want me shooting. <laughs> McCarvey 63 went down to Mornington 85. We all expected the breakers to bounce back. They did. Tony Mitchell, who's been good the last couple of weeks, 27 points, 14 rebounds, 5 assists. Ballinger had 22 and 13. Benny Polonsky, 22 for McCarvey. Benji Tamir was out. Um, I think the only thing with Mornington that we're looking for now is consistency because they've lost a couple we didn't expect. Mm. Um, Toddy Mitchell's been a good inclusion there. Certainly has. Wily old player, Toddy Mitchell. I was going to say, obviously Ballinger takes most of the press, and so you can get a couple of those under Adam Ballinger players to step up. You're certainly going to win a lot more games than you lose. Oh, he's been around the ropes, Toddy Mitchell. Been around a long, long time. Ladder. Here we go. Western Port 5 and zip. Craigie Byrne packing them 3 and 1. Mornington 3 and 2. Collingwood Altona are 2 and 2. So they've got some important games coming up. Coburg, Maccabi, and Oakley are one and three, Northeast zero and four. Round Come on, Northeast. Five. <laughs> Collingwood, Packenham, Steve. Uh, Packenham. I don't mind Packenham. I'm on the Packy train. Are you really? Yep. You with it? Love Packy. Have you ever caught a train out to Packenham? Speaking of trains and Packenham. Nope. 
interesting I like, place. I get like a public transport. Interesting place. Oh, no, no, you wouldn't, it. would you? Typical no. Melbourne supporter. <laughs> Getting your dad's Range Rover and off you go. You beat Collingwood. Cra you did, actually. Craigie Burn take on Western Port. Uh, Craigie Burn's been in form. Western Port hasn't lost a game. First, second, and Western Port will remain first. Western Port's done nothing wrong, Steve. I can't tip against them. They've done nothing wrong. Yeah, neither can I. I'm with the Steelers. Okay, fair enough. Mornington, <clears throat> take on Northeast. Now, <laughs> we said last week that we would go double or nothing, which went from one dinner to two. So we're happy this week to go double or nothing again, which takes us from two dinners to four. Are you going to pay out on the two? Or are you happy to tip Northeast against Mornington on a double or nothing four dinners at Knox Groove Train for there both is, of us? There it is. Yes or no? Yes or no? I'm going Mornington, by the way. Yeah, I'm Mornington. Nothing too. more certain, Jeffo. Mornington to win. Now, Steve-O, you can either make a clown of yourself right here and right now. You can bail out. You go, fellas, you know what? In the last two weeks, you've stitched me up. You've proven me wrong. Yep, I'm going to take you down to Knox Groove Train twice. There it is. All right? You can do that right now. You can be a man about it. You can step up and go, no, you've, you've got me. Or we're prepared to offer you double or nothing, Steve. Eh? Mm. I think if you tip northeast right now, we're prepared to offer you double or nothing. I think the bit that you said in there was you can make a clown of yourself. Hello. And that's... He's not immune to that. Pretty probably. much <laughs> saying that... You can make a clown of yourself by to be Mornington. Too. So northeast, all the way. Here we go. Bushy's in the upset once again. One and four, not zero oh and five. Get up and get around them on the road. Road trip. We are back. Bush Rangers for life. Back, back from where, mate? You haven't been anywhere yet. You're zipping four. We won games last have, have year. Have you ever heard the saying "glutton for punishment"? No. It's going to be no, four. It's going to be. <laughs> It's going to be four dinners out of this, mate. By two. That's fine. How much to be paid? It's going to be guy? nothing. Yeah. What are they paying, mate? I'm All looking right. forward to it. Let you, me do it. You're on your own, mate. I'm North telling East you. Back. You realise we go double and nothing next week. We're over a week of eating out. We won't need to. It'll be zero, zero nights of dinner when North East beat Mornington. He knows it includes the bar down there as well, doesn't he? We have said that. Taxi's home. Mate, Steve-O... <laughs> Altona to take on Coburg. Get on Joey at home. Uh, Get on Joey at home. He'll drop 25 Coburg, this week. Coburg will be competitive. They always are. It'll be single digits either okay. way. Just get on Joey at home. Yep, Altona. I think they've won their last two at home. Have it's it? an important game. Um, Altona are two and two. Coburg are one and three. Coburg lose this one. They go to one and four. Mm. Yeah, but I'm still with Altona. Okay, all right. No, I'm with you as well. D2 men coming up this week. Good luck to everyone out there. Get out there and support your teams. Did we mention the country stuff? Have we done that at the start of this show? Uh, Just mention it again. Go. Off June you go. 11, Shepparton Sports Stadium, the inaugural 2016 Big V All-Star Origin Series. If you want to play in the game, what do you have to do? Nominations are open now. So if you want to play in the game, you want to nominate yourself, go to your club and ask to be nominated. So the club's got to nominate yeah, you. Club's you can't nominate. nominate yourself. You've got to ask your club to do it. No. Okay, all right, fair enough. Get on top of that one. June 11, those games are coming up. Being played up in Shepparton, by the way. Looking forward to that. Good luck to all the teams this week in D2, men. We'll see you next week on Northeast TV.